Hello, Dr. Mandy Meiskins here from Real Good AI, and I want to talk to you today about one of our programs we've been working on in our mission. Now, it's not set in stone. Don't call the bards yet, but I just wanted to show it to you and talk to you about it because I think it's really important to get out there so that people can start talking about this in this sort of language. So the idea is to give a rating system as to how much AI was used when some piece of something was created created. Now here's a draft of what we've created, but absolutely it's a draft. Um, so the general idea, like you could use this for education that maybe in this thing that you're working on, your teacher, you're like, only use up to level one. You can't use anything more than that or use a level zero. Don't use AI at all. But we can talk about the subtlety differences of like, brainstorming versus different applications versus AI just totally doing the paper for you or even writing chunks. And that's reflected in these levels. Now, uh, I want to talk to you about another really exciting application that I could imagine this being. So like when you upload on something like YouTube or something, you have to designate whether something is for children on its audiences or not. Um, you could also have to designate, say, your level of AI usage, and then people could search for only things that have limited AI in them, and you could get rid of all that extra icky AI on your social media feeds. Just saying, we have we see this vision, and I think it's really important to talk about the subtlety in how much people are using AI. What do you think? You like this? Love to hear your thoughts. We're still working on it.